Good morning, welcome to the shed. So we're going to be refurbishing one of the uh, record planes that I bought in a job lot a uh, few weeks ago. Uh, this is a record 311 or 0311. It's basically a three part or three planes in one. So it's a chisel plane, it's a bull nose plane. So these pieces fit on the front of there to make a bull nose or it's a plow plane. If I got that the right way around, like so. It's made of sort of cast steel. It's in pretty good nick. Got a few little bits of rust on there, uh, but we're going to give it a clean up. This one's going in my collection, so uh, yeah, looks really nice. I think it could be a good one. Um, I'm going to also make a box for this afterwards because I do need to actually make something. So I'm going to try and make a nice little box for this uh, just to store it in. Okay, let's go over to the bench and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so as I say, it comes in three parts. There is a screw that holds the whichever your chosen part is. So that's your chisel plane. The uh, full nose, sorry, plow plane is that one. That screw holds it together. Tell you what, let's cut that because that's annoying me. Now I'll lose it. Yeah, so basically you, you, you fit the relevant part to the front of the plane, like so. Okay, let's clean it up, take it apart and have a look see what we've got. Similar construction to the 42 that I recently refurbished. So you've got like this lever cap lock thing, a blade, tungsten steel apparently, it does say something on there, I can't see what it is but I'll have a look later, uh, and then obviously the screw thread adjuster. So it should be an easy clean up, let's do it.
Okay, let's give this a sharpen. I've got this set to 30 degrees. I think that might be slightly lower angle than it is currently. I managed to get it in my jig, hopefully I've got it straight enough. See how far out we are. Oh, that's perfect. Won't take long. Okay, that's lovely. That's all the way across the front. And we'll give it a very small micro bevel on the 6000 grit. Okay, we've got a good sharp blade, or iron, let's put it back together. Reverse thread on this one, catches me out, of course. There is, a few, there is quite a lot of discoloration on the metal. There's not a lot I can do about that. It's perfectly acceptable. All right, that's close. Uh, let's just go for the shoulder plane for our demo. Okay, there it is. Record 311 cleaned up, ready for action. Give it me old usual oiling. Stop it going rusty again. We'll give it a test. Put that bit in the drawer so I don't lose it. just set up a test. Okay, clamped it to the bench using my lovely new hold fasts. I've got a piece across the top there. Now forgive me if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, that's because I don't. Okay, so there we go. Nice curly shavings for starters. I could get a better, 
better angle on this if I was further down the bench, but obviously it's not so easy to film like that. Okay, so there you go. It's cutting nicely, nothing wrong with that. If I take my guide piece out, hopefully should be able to do it just along that shoulder there, although to be honest I should have gone a bit further. But Let's try going a little bit harder on the shavings. all going so well. Should have kept it back there. I should have started at this end actually, shouldn't I? There you go. I think that works. Again, as usual, my technique could be better, but that does the job. Obviously you can use it on its side as well, if it uh, helps. Okay, that's another one in the collection. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, nice little plane, works well. Uh, I probably only use it occasionally, but it's good for cutting a little rabbit in in a piece of long piece of wood, perfect for that. And also you can use it for cleaning up shoulders. It's also got the chisel option if you want to get in close to uh, corners. So yeah, that one's going in the collection. It was a little bit knackered, uh, but it is generally flat. There's a few little bits there that are uh, where, it, where it's corroded. And I can't do anything about that other than machine it back and I don't have the tools to do that. Okay, uh, you might notice I've got some new glasses, so that should help because I keep dropping them everywhere. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you've got any, any questions. See you soon.